Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name's Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys every product that is fungal acne safe and glossier. Roll the footage. Now go ahead and drop a sparkle emoji in the comments section below if upon discovering that you were suffering from fungal acne, you felt this extreme sadness about the fact that you were no longer going to be able to use your favorite Glossier products. I'm going to have to put one there myself because I was so in that boat, you guys. Milky Jelly Cleanser, Stretch Concealer, Cloud Paint, Boy Brow, Balm.com were all part of my everyday makeup routine and beauty routine at some point in my life. You know, I really used to obsess over Glossier in my life and every single time that they would drop a new product, I would have to snatch it up and test it out for myself and I always just loved it because it was Glossier. And every single time that I would visit New York City, I would go out of my way to visit their flagship store so I could have that shopping experience. Shopping at Glossier truly is like shopping at the Apple store. It's very clean and it feels very exclusive. Give this video a thumbs up right now if you have ever queued outside their flagship store so you could ride the elevator up and experience Glossier in person. I know you guys have too. You guys, these days I really have to ask myself, was it really the products that I loved about Glossier or was it just the beautifully packaged lifestyle that Glossier was selling to me? At the time that Glossier really came around, nobody was doing what they did. They really took the glossy, dewy makeup trend and they pushed it, especially in America. I know that that trend had been alive in other countries, obviously, but in America, we were still doing the matte and dry and powdered kind of a look. We didn't have this whole glossy, kind of minimalist approach to makeup back then, and it really felt like something that everybody wanted to be a part of because it was like makeup on your own terms. So sadly, none of my former favorite products are fungal acne safe, but under thorough investigation, I have discovered that there are a whopping seven products that are fungal acne safe at Glossier, and I am going to share those with you guys right now. Let's do this. So the first product up is the Super Pure Serum. Now this serum is $28 and it is a mixture of niacinamide and zinc. And that combination is super powerful, especially for those of us who have blemish prone and clogged skin. It really helps to clear out congestion in your pores and all of that good stuff. Now, I do think that $28 is a little bit high for this product because you can buy this exact same mixture by The Ordinary for less than half the price. That's the one that I personally use and I use it probably three nights a week on average. If you guys did want to know more about that product and all the fungal acne safe stuff by The Ordinary, I'm going to go ahead and link my video on that right now so you can check it out. The next product is their Soothing Face Mist. Now this is basically just a rose water spray and it's just hydration spray very refreshing and smells really wonderful. If I were to buy this product, I would layer this up with my hyaluronic acid as part of my moisturizing routine. Now, keep in mind that this product does contain two amino acids, and if those are mixed with lipids, then the Malassezia yeast can metabolize those and cause you to have fungal acne breakouts on your skin. So if you are gonna buy this product, I just recommend doing a patch test some of you guys might be more sensitive than others, so not everyone is gonna work with this. So that wraps up all the options they have for skincare, and now we have some makeup products available. So there are four different products here. The first one is the one that I always mention first in every one of these kind of branded videos. It is their eyeliner felt tip pin. It's called the Pro Tip Eyeliner. It's $16, it only comes in black, and on their website, they do have a lot of rave reviews about it. I have to give them props on that. People talking about wearing it forever, crying for multiple hours in a row, nonstop with it on, sweating, yada, yada, yada. The list goes on and on. And so if that sounds like you, then this might be a really good value for you. And thumbs up this video if you guys just feel like instead of calling makeup waterproof, maybe we just need to call it cry proof because that's the real test is it not you guys might be excited about this one the next fungal acne safe makeup product by Glossier is actually their brow flick 
Now, this is a super hype product. People really love it. It gets rave reviews. Now, this brow flick is a felt tip liquid brow pen. So it's a lot like using a felt tip liquid eyeliner, but the tip is a little bit finer and more precise because obviously you're trying to make little strokes of hairs. It really gives you that beautifully microbladed type of a brow, and I'm really attracted to that, but I have such thick brows, I don't need any help in this way. But I've seen people do amazing things with it. The caveat here is that only the blonde and brown shades are safe and the black one is not. However, this product costs $18, and if you really needed to have the black color, we already know that the felt tip eyeliner works wonders and stays put for a really long time, so I kind of feel like you could just buy the black eyeliner and use it the same way that you do brow flick because they're very similar in the way that you apply them, and I know it would be a learning curve because the tips are a little bit different, but you could definitely figure it out. I feel like this is another thing that no one should be surprised by, but the other product that is safe at Glossier makeup wise is their Wowder, which is Glossier's finishing powder. It comes in five different shades, and this is supposed to give you a matte but not flat finish. So by that, I think what they're saying is it makes your makeup stay in place, it sets everything, but you still look glowy and radiant after it's all said and done. And I can see by the reviews on their website that that is how people feel about it. They kind of love it for that reason. I actually have tried this years ago when it first came out, but I wasn't like overly impressed by it. And I think at the time I wasn't doing anything fungal acne, so my skin was definitely not in the best place. And I kind of feel like I wanna try it now just because I'm more open to powdered products these days. So if any of you guys have tried this recently, you need to tell me in the comments right now below if you really love it and whether or not I should drop the $22 that it costs, okay? Let me know because I'm very, very curious and very, very tempted by this one. And finally in the makeup category, we have the Glossier Play Night Shine. This product is a liquid highlighter concentrate and it comes in four shades and is $20. Personally, I do not wear a lot of highlighter in my life because I have suffered from severe cystic acne in my past and therefore I have very textured skin. It's very bumpy and I still have a lot of scarring going on. And when you put highlighter over that, it really kind of just highlights all the bad ridges on my face. So that's why I really steer clear. However, this has rave reviews and I truly feel if you're someone who misses highlighters like nobody's business and you're looking for a really good one, this is probably one of the best fungal acne friendly highlighters that you can get on the market. This is one product that I don't think is just hype. I think this is the real deal high voltage highlighter. All right guys, I wanted to take a moment to pause and just remind you guys that if you need help shopping for fungal acne safe products, I have got you covered. I have compiled a fungal acne safe shopping list for Target, Walmart, Ulta, and Sephora, and they are designed to make navigating the beauty aisles a complete breeze. You can download them for free right now. There's a link in the down bar below. All you need to do is look for the shopping cart emojis and you'll find it right there. Now, I told you there were seven products and there definitely are. This last one is more of just an overall beauty product. It is the Glossier U Eau de Parfum. It is their rose scented perfume and people really, really love this product. I'm not a huge like rose scented person, so it's not my cup of tea, but if you guys love that kind of nostalgia that goes along with the rose water smell, then this would really be a good one for you. Okay guys, I want to know in the comments below, are any of these products ones that you guys are ready to just go out and buy right now? Did anything really excite you? Are you one of the OG Glossier fans? Where do you stand with Glossier? Tell me all the things in the comment section below. And if you guys do want to shop any of their products, I am gonna use my personal link below. I'm gonna leave it there, and if you shop through that link, you can get 10% off for your first purchase. So if you've never tried it before, it would be a really good time to do that. And otherwise, I want you guys to come and say hi to me on Instagram where I hang out every single day.